Hello and welcome to this series of videos where we create isometric drawings using our standard tools pencil, scale, set squares, protractor, your compass and eraser and your sharpener. So in the last video we saw how to create the fillets on the rounds and also on the edges. In the previous video to that we had created this isometric drawing out of the two orthographic views that we had. Now let's say a requirement is that we need to cut or make a section of this part just to show what's on the inside. So let's call this section, I don't know, AA. So that a section we have to show as an isometric view. So how do we do that? Well in here as the section is pointing in this direction it means that this portion is removed and this section has to be shown. Same thing here. So in here what we are going to do is we are going to cut a section out here like this and then we are going to re uh, remove this portion out from here. Now to do that, so let's say we are taking this much part out, taking that out and then whatever is left off we have to draw it here. Now the thing here is that because there is a hole in the center up here and for normally any of the sections you'd start from inside out and from top to down. It, that just makes it easy. But you create the box model for the whole entity or for the whole part and then you start creating a section. So with that in mind let's start creating our horizontal line first with a center point right and then we'll have to create two 30 degree and 190 degree line. So 30, 90, and 30 here. So let's create those lines. Again, I'm creating very faint lines so that it makes it easy for us to draw the main lines. Okay, so the base has been created. Next, we need to go 10 millimeters up. So let's go 10 millimeters up here. Everywhere, in fact. Again, remember we are creating a box section for the entire part, but we'll have to cut it from the center as in we'll have to make sure that we have that AA cut out from this main part. Next we need to create this cylinder. So for that we need this because the cylinder is 30 millimeters so we are just trying to make a square in isometric view which is 30 millimeters. So that line is already there. Let's create this line here and that line is already there so create this line. So we have the bottom square. Let's go up by 30 millimeters. Thirty here. We'll terminate somewhere here. Thirty here, and thirty here, and then let's draw that square. And in there, for the hole, we need to create a twenty hole. So. 5 on each side, and 
and that's how we are going to cut the hole in the cylinder let's draw that square as well now in the video where we were doing the isometric i fast forwarded that bit or i just paused the video and then came back with the center hole now here you can see how i created that hole now the thing is we don't have to create the hole for the for the entire section we have to cut this half section out so let me first of all create this as well and then let's measure half here so this was 50 so half of 50 is 25 half of 50 is 25 half of 30 is 15 half of 30 is 15 here and half of 30 is 15 so here we know that the part would be cut in this direction like this now the reason why we are drawing it here is so that we know when we actually do the drawing we know where to cut this so this would be roughly the section that we'll cut out and then there will be a line joining here So for doing this cutout and the other bits, let's first draw the inner circle for this half only and then the outer circle for that half. So let's start creating that. Before I go any forward, let's make this a bit sharper so that we get neat arcs. Last time we were having some trouble drawing this one. So I thought this time, let's not make the same mistake again. right so to draw the piece here we'll have to create the diagonal and then for 30 the radius is 15 so we take 15 here and for 20 the radius is 10 so that radius would be here so let's first create the inner circle the entire universe started shaking let's create the inner circle half of that that too i'm just drawing this line here and now i know that it might be a bit confusing so once when we have drawn this a bit we'll try to remove most of it so we need to create the circle half circle in this section on this side only so let's do that so i'll take this as the radius and then draw this circle here take this as the radius or center and this as the radius I'll draw a circle here and then it's a little bit finishing required on this side here so if I draw it with pencil this would be how that circle would look same way let's create the outer circle as well for that this would be the center and this would be the radius this is the center this is the radius so let's create that this is the center this is the radius and 
and then for this small bit this is the center and this is the radius so now let's make it darker right so we have that and then here we can just drop this down same thing if i join these two lines here again very faint then we can drop this down all the way down because that hole is through hole let's drop this down and then this goes down till here and let's finish this off like this So this is how your cross section would look and if I draw a line here this is how your entire section would look like. Let's finish this up by drawing the other bits required for the half section. And then let's rub off whatever was our construction line so that we get a better preview. I need a sharper eraser as well. I don't know if that makes sense. So that's how your cross section or the sectional view would look and then for this cross section let's just hatch this pattern out so that we can show that this was how the cross section looks like. Now again, if you are confident enough, you can do this cross-sectioning by hand as well. It's entirely up to you without using the scale. It might be a bit faster. You might not get the same finish. But that's all right. As long as you know what results you are after, that's fine. So that is the cross-sectional view of what we are trying to draw. Cross-section view of the isometric drawing that we drew or of the orthographic views that we had created when we went out on site and we didn't have time to do all this fancy isometric drawings. Thank you all and I'll see you in the next video.